Visualizing Nominal Categories Tip number one. When visualizing nominal categorical data along the x-axis, carefully consider your options to avoid risking the end user's ability to easily interpret the amount of information being presented. If we simply move the nominal categories to the y-axis, a bar chart will instantly provide a cleaner and more pleasant visual experience that is appealing to the eye. Visualizing Interval Categories Tip number two. Unlike the previous example, let's consider circumstances where improper usage of the y-axis might compromise your efforts to present interval categorical data efficiently. This time, by using the strength of the x-axis, we're able to leverage the intrinsic order and adopt a line or area chart which easily becomes your best visualization ally. Adjusting X-Axis Labels Tip number three. Best practices in Power BI requires you as a design author to carefully evaluate whether default formatting provides the optimal visual experience your audience requires. In this example, we can tweak the X-Axis to merely display date rather than date hierarchy and utilize the inferred linear sequence to accomplish a more appealing outcome. Adjusting Y-Axis Labels Tip number four. There are times when the slightest adjustment to axis labels can have a substantial impact for clever designers, and this unassuming example clearly delivers the point. When employing bar charts, don't overlook the format option to maximize the size of the Y-Axis whenever additional room is required for axis labels to be fully exposed. Managing X-Axis Hierarchies Tip number five. Column charts that have a hierarchy on the X-Axis will show repetitive labeling by default for all levels of the hierarchy that are expanded. To improve axis labeling, simply turn off concatenate labels to enhance label appearance and diminish complexity, making it easier for users to understand the context. Managing Y-Axis Hierarchies Tip number six. Bar charts that have a hierarchy on the Y-Axis can be a source of frustration for design authors and the viewing audience alike, but there's a quick and creative remedy we can implement. By utilizing a matrix with conditional bars, we can add more dimension to nominal categories and subcategories to more clearly display the hierarchy. Avoiding the x-axis scroll bar. Tip number seven. Horizontal scrolling has been known and proven to negatively impact user experience. Therefore, it's prudent for report creators to carefully consider the possibility of more viable display options. 
When working with interval categories, we're able to provide a more meaningful and relevant user experience by implementing a line chart or area chart rather than relying on any column charts. Removing axes to create spark lines. Tip number eight. Spark lines afford a quick, pleasing approach to visualizing data without needing the complexity of an entire chart. And with very little effort, we can create our own spark lines to display directional trends. Removing the axis labels allows design authors to liberate more valuable space in the visual, drawing attention to important trends but remember to position the spark line near its data for greatest impact. Thanks for watching. If you like this series, please add your comments and tap the bell. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media.